Hi, Omega Chaos here again. Uh, this time with a special video. The Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG ban list for April is finally out. So it's effective from April 11, and it's this is my first uh, reaction to this ban list. So let's see what, what it is. I'm very excited. Oh, performance damage trigger, of course, very expected. It was of course banned in the in the adjusted list, and same with plush bar. So of course, very expected and pretty rightful, rightfully hit as well. Then uh, Terra Knight uh, Ptolemaeus, of course, again very expected. It was banned in the adjusted list, and of course, so anyone can can't just go into infinity with this card in any rank 4 base deck. What else? What? A chicken game? Seriously? Wow, what is going on? Well, to be honest, this card was abused in many FTK type decks and uh, it was pretty hyped as well in the beginning. But I'm kinda sad as seeing this card get uh, banned because I used uh, this card in many decks that I used fiat spells and this was a really good uh, fix for many decks that use fiat spells. For example, I used in Modern Autumn Magician deck so I won't, pay, won't uh, dare throw my uh, multiple terraformings. So this kind of hurts, but I do understand uh, why uh, this got banned. Ooh, Wavering Eyes banned! Very surprising actually, but I think it's uh, really good. Uh, this card is completely insane in uh, Pendulum uh, Mirror Matches. Uh, definitely a really broken card. So yeah, I think uh, this hit is very good. Very glad about it, actually. Okay, what else? Last Terra Pendulum the Traco Slayer. Of course, again, very expected hit. Because it was, of course, hit in the adjusted list as well. Of course, Monkey Board and Joker, same thing, pretty much. Nothing else to say. Obviously, Monkey Board, actually, I think it should be banned. It's just too good as a one card pendulum scale. Oh, Visto My Magician. Well, unfortunately, I kinda expected uh, all those magician deck to get hit in some way. Uh, of course, my current main deck uh, does get hurt by this hit quite a lot, but I do understand it because. Once you hit all the other top decks, uh, all the transmission deck is probably going to be a top deck, so you have to kind of hit uh, that deck as well to keep it uh, uh, from dominating the game. Then, Elder Entity Northern? What the fuck? Seriously? You're seriously going to think that this is going to help anything? Because seriously, limiting it is completely pointless because most just ran free instant fusion and one northern anyway, so like seriously, this is not going to do anything. Wow, seriously, unbelievable. Like uh, either northern should have been banned or instant fusion limited, so this is not going to do absolutely anything. And thousand eyes restrict is now back. Now of course limited to one. Well, this card. Of course, it's not as good as it used to be. It is kind of abusable with instant vision, but uh, otherwise, I think it's pretty balanced. But now, if instant vision is not limited in, in this ban list, you can just run, run run one northern and one restrict in your extra deck for instant vision. So, yeah, I don't think it, if it's exactly that great. Draco face off. Of course, another hit to the uh, Draco uh, Slayer, Draco Overlord engine. Uh, 
and this is probably one of the most uh, uh, broken cards in that dungeon for sure. So definitely a very good hit to that deck. Of course, this definitely will hurt the uh, Draco Slayer performal deck quite a lot. Reasoning, uh, wow, actually very surprising considering that in Freya Noise haven't been really doing, haven't been doing much. But of course, it is used in Cosmo and all that. Um, I guess it was kind of copied from Oshichi uh, for some reason. But yeah, I think I kind of, I'm pretty fine with this. Upstar Goblin, what the fuck, seriously? Kinda interesting, I guess, but seems very pointless, I guess. It's another hit to those FTK type decks, I guess, but not sure about this. Okay, so that was the limited card, so now it's uh, semi-limited cards. And uh, Debris Dragon. Well, I think definitely this card is definitely not uh, broken by any means. It was kind of abused in Dragon Rovers, that's why it got limited. But it's definitely really, really, really good for a synchro based decks to have this card um, back at two. A lot of darkness. Well, I think it. A lot of darkness, of course, was very much abused in the past in like Dark Hunt, Return, and Teledad decks. But now I think it's not as good as it used to be because you have to banish the Dark Monster, and it does, it does help quite many decks. And the machine teleport, semi limited. And many predicted the, uh, this deck, this uh, card to get limited, but I guess they didn't want to do it that fast. But I don't think similarly with limiting this card will do absolutely anything because uh, none of the Cosmo cards got hit at all, and same with Monarch cards as well. So they only really hit that Draco Slayer performal deck, but really nothing else. And then the unlimited, unlimited cards. A dark Mission of Chaos, of course it got the Errata, so now it's completely balanced, and they put it immediately to free, which I think is a a good move because there's no point in keeping uh, this card on the list. Then Draconia, of course, very balanced card nowadays, so why keep it on the list? Advanced Ritual Art, this definitely helps quite many ritual based decks, for example, Herald of Perfection all or Ultimateness, and Crush Card Virus. Of course, with the Rata, it's of course very balanced, but it can be very powerful as well. So, uh, I'm not sure about, about this panelist. I think it did, it did some things right, but it does seem very mediocre. It don't really hit the uh, um, Pendulum decks, but it didn't hit Monarchs, and they didn't hit Cosmo. So that's kind of concerning, but yeah. So the top decks will definitely be Monarch and Cosmo at this point. And my magicians also got hurt, but why you hit my magicians, but didn't hit uh, monarchs or cosmo? That's completely insane, because magicians didn't even do absolutely anything in this format. Uh, but you didn't hit uh, decks that were definitely uh, very good in this format. So yeah, so this was my first reaction. Uh, to this uh, ban list, um, yeah, it's definitely a very new video for me to make, having like uh, these emotions uh, and all that. So let me know what you think about this uh, new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tsushishi ban list. Uh, I personally don't really like it. Probably a northern hit is probably the most pointless because it doesn't really do anything to fix uh, uh, the problem with that card. But at least I, I guess they hit the 
uh, most dominating deck, which is the Draco Slayer Performable deck. But I guess we'll see how it, how it will go in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. For now, uh, goodbye and Omega Kiss out.